Okay, traders, that's it for me today. Um, I'm having a green day, covering for, for yesterday loss, actually doing better than I lost yesterday. So um, I've got like uh, $7,500 and another $900 riding on Facebook and beyond. So I'm going to be like $8,500 up today. As you can see here, the thing that really saved my day was Tesla. And I'll talk just very shortly about this one. That's the only one I want to talk about because the rest, the rest I want to forget. <laughs> like, look at Boeing. Although I was right, it came down finally, but uh, it took me out. And uh, Facebook was a nice trade. Starbucks, a loser, beyond. And two losing trades in ALXN. I'm definitely not proud of that. But I'm going to finish up um, $8,500 today. So I have nothing to complain. But let's just shortly look at, uh, look at Tesla here. And um, what's interesting in Tesla is uh, the way... Hey, Scott, good to see you. <laughs> and uh, what's interesting in Tesla... Good morning. I'm up like $8,500, so I'm doing okay. I mean, not a great day. I mean, Tesla saved my day, really. Um, and that's, that's, that's just, just it. So, um, okay, guys. So let's take a quick look at uh, Tesla. Tesla, I posted for a short under 783. That was right over here. So Tesla short was at a very nice technical point. Look at Tesla moving down, up, coming down, failing, moving up again, lower high moving down to the low so you can see that tesla has a very nice technical formation here just under 783 that's a clear shot i do not usually take a trade like that because tesla was and still is green for the day but what i liked about tesla is the fact that it moved all the way down to the lows when the market was moving all the way up to the highs so if you look at the s p 500 at around uh, look at around here that's uh 9.45 or so, 9.50 really. So if you look here at 9.50, S&P is moving to a new high, Tesla is moving to a new low. So while the S&P was moving higher, and that's what really caught my eye, while the S&P was moving higher, Tesla was coming down. That's the kind of things that uh, needs to be noticed. That's the kind of trades that you need to to look at and consider. So I, I, I remember saying in the trading room, I'm not in the habit of shorting stocks that are up that much for the day. But since Tesla came down, had a very nice technical formation for a short, if you ignore the fact that it's up a few percent, and you need to ignore that if you want to take this trade. And then I was, I was looking at the S&P at the same time, and the S&P was moving higher. So obviously Tesla is under a lot of pressure. It's quite rare to see a stock like Tesla trending lower and moving to a new low when the S&P is moving to a new high. I mean, even if Tesla is under pressure, you would expect it to pull back up a bit when the market's moving higher and then move down when the market's pulling back down a bit. I mean, it could trend in a different direction but it should move with the market. When the market's green, it should move higher. It did not do that. It came down under the lows when the market was moving to a new high. And I'm glad I took that trade, trusted it, um, saved my day, really. $15,000 in Tesla. And that's what helped me finish uh, in green today. So guys, I, I do hope uh, you're doing good today. Um, I hope you had a nice day. And I'm going to leave you here with the good hands of... Uh, Scott and uh, Michael is here and just enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you all tomorrow. So bye traders. Have a good day. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004 and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.